All right, welcome back, guys. Let's play some more Gothic 3. Well, last we left off, that was a big stutter there. We became the champion of Montera, which was admittedly pretty easy. We got a bit of gold. We currently have 3,800, which we spent on picking pockets, which you probably don't need. I think we wasted our points, but that's okay. We also got ourselves a slave. Let's talk to him. If you don't want any trouble with my master, you better not talk to me. His name is Dan, and he's a gladiator, so watch out. Uh, we already beat him, so... He has some gold on him, that's cool. You are mine now. Good. That's it? That was, uh... That was anticlimactic, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, let's explore a bit more of Montera. For this part, we're going to go ahead and do quests around here. I also found out where the bandits are near Cape Dunn. We'll go there later because first, I want to find the teleporter stone for Montera. Because I don't want to run all the way back here. That'd be, a, that'd be a waste of time. We could. You won't see it because I'll just skip ahead if I have to. But either way, let's see if we can... Okay. Must have more important things to do. So there's probably no need to go ahead and learn the na last tier of pickpockets. In fact, we probably don't really need it. It's probably not going to help that much, but what's done is done. I'm not going to restart the entire game just to save points. Let's go down here because there's these orcish uh, slave guys that we can loot, I believe. There's nothing in there. This game has really, really good music. This area is like very, 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 very nice to listen to. Let's talk to Bradley. Let's save first, because I'm going to pick his pocket. 23 gold. That's not a whole lot. What do you think of Merrick? Well, I don't know. I don't have much to do with it. I think he does his job pretty well. Okay, so we have to worry about him when it comes to... Orcish loyalty, because the last thing we did in the last part is we had to investigate or talk to the mercenaries to see what their loyalties are in regards to the leader. Okay, these orcs have a little bit, don't they? 34. I suppose it all adds up. You want to save too, because I just found out last part you can fail the pickpocket and they'll attack you. But so far we're doing pretty well. I don't know if it requires dexterity hunting skill to uh, max out your chances. I'll take your gold. Thank you. Stop. Some valuable things have gone missing here. Do you know anything about that? No. We're watching you. Oh boy. Maybe we shouldn't pick pockets after all. Okay. Um, I probably should go ahead and reload. <laughs> Because I forgot, or rather I read, that if you take too many things from town, um, you can lock out that town, so... Ah, shoot, we probably did waste our points, did we? Alright, let's go up here and try to find that teleporter stone. Okay, we got a scout here. Oh, these guys are in sync. Well, they were. Talk to this guy, Ben Gerd. <sighs> my goodness, I'm working my ass off here. I hope my relief gets here soon. What's a short break worth to you? Oh, man, I'll give you everything I have if you get me out of here. All right, what have you got? I found this artifact here, the strange chalice. I would let you have that. Hmm. You say you found a chalice? A fire chalice, maybe? What do I know? I don't understand these things, pal. You can take a break. Go to the stockyard. Thanks, friend. I'm already on my way. Wait a moment. You forgot something. Oh, yeah. Here's the chalice I found. Have a nice day, friend. You too. We got two out of 12 now. I forget what those are used for, so let's check our quests. Here we go, yeah. Find all the chalice of the fire mages, the fire chalices. From Sebastian back in Reddick. Alright, so yeah, like I said, last two parts, you're not supposed to, or rather, it's better not to liberate towns or 
eliminate the rebel outpost just yet until you do all the quests. Otherwise, you're locked out of doing um, the optional stuff if you join a faction. Uh, I'm a bit bummed out that we waste our points here, but whatever. Let's uh, go back here, I guess. Wow. You knocked Ashton right out of his boots. No one's ever done that before. Was that all I have to say? Let's talk to that slave. I guess we can send him back. Or do we have to go to Bradley? I don't want any trouble. Oh, that was anticlimactic with Dan's slave there. Let's go back to... Ah, all over the place. I'm ready to do some quests and explore the uh, overworld a little bit more. If I remember correctly, Bradley should be down here, right? Already getting turned around this place. There he is. I took care of the slaves. So I see. I'd have done it differently, but whatever. Now we need new workers here in camp in a hurry. Go tell Dennis from the stockyard outside the city that he should send me new people. Dennis from the stockyard outside the city. Got it. Let's go ahead and save. And also, I completely forgot to, uh... I did it again. What I was going to do is make another new save just in case um, this part gets corrupted or something like that. But we're okay. We'll just make a new save. Right here. I'll do that every single time. All right, so far so good. We got 44 points in Montero. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the whole MMO style quest fairing, but uh, I'm still having fun with this game. It still has some good stuff to it. It's got a nice world. It's got nice music, a nice atmosphere. So I can see myself playing all the way through. Now, if only I can figure out where to go. There's someone here I gotta talk to. Elite mercenary, orc mercenary. And Sanford. I think I remember this guy too. From way back in the day. I've heard that you were the new arena champion in Monterra. Congratulations. That's really something. A new delivery? Put it with the others. Doesn't feel like something. That was actually pretty easy to become the champion. Are you the warehouse keeper? Stupid question. You can see that. It's no bed of roses, let me tell you. When everything is running smoothly, nobody's interested in what I do all day. But if anything is missing, they all panic right away. I bet. What do you think of your leader, Merrick? Merrick is an orc lover. He was already working with him during the war. He's such a toady. Always sucking up to Varric, the leader of the orcs. His leadership qualities leave something to be desired. Everybody here is out for himself and has skeletons in his closet. I don't particularly like Merrick. He's a self-righteous asshole. Oh, that's someone you have to worry about, don't we? Do you also sell your wares? Sure. You only need to ask. Do you need anything? I need 15 sacks of wheat from the grain farm to the north, and I need them fast. What do you think will happen here if the others don't get any more bread? They'll probably, uh, kill you for the bread. Or eat each other. What else are you missing? You won't believe it, but I still need five milk barrels from the stockyard in the west. Really? Well, like I said, the job is no bed of roses. Music is a bit too loud, isn't it? Any other belly aches? I think that is all I need in the way of goods for now. Well, that's a comfort. Why don't you go and get the crap yourself? You have to help us out a bit. Who says I want to? You'll do the right thing. I'm sure of it. Alright, let's see what he has. Show me your goods. Sometimes the music gets really loud in places. It's a little annoying. These games like to do that. These old games. Um, I guess we'll buy all these lockpicks. Why not? I think we already have a booze recipe. We don't need any of this other stuff. These antidotes are pretty expensive. We don't need those. Let's see if there's a teleporter stone in here. There isn't. Thoric. 
The Rookish Smith has talked to them. If you want to buy weapons or learn smithing from me, you'll have to pay for it more often. The pay for it? What? Here's some gold. Now will you trade with me? Tell me what you want. Always be firm. That's what I say. Show me your goods. Alright, what do you have? You got a long sword recipe, a two-hander recipe, some armor. And not a whole lot. Well, let's sell some stuff to him, I guess. Can't use this. That's worth a lot. 4,800. Nice. One more so sword. Let's sell that. Uh, we probably don't need this uh, Hashishin knife. We'll keep it just in case. Sell the rest of this. Uh, sell one of those. Sell all that. Keep the crossbow. Rated axe. Cudgel. This halberd. Sell these pickaxes too. That's, we're getting some money finally. And sell all these too. Worth a fair bit. And I guess we'll keep the rest of this stuff. Oh, I can't. He only has so much gold. So we'll put some of these away. Keep the shields. And now we have 15,000 gold, finally. We got some money to spend on training. Longsword and two-hander. Longsword, hmm. Maybe we can grab that? Let's go ahead and save first. At least we got our money back. Show me your goods. I'll take this, and you can have... These? Ah, perfect. Now let's see if we can make a long sword. 140 strength, 85 uh, points of damage. We need 5 iron ore. And that's it. We need 5 iron ore. Okay, we'll keep that. It's good to know. Let's go ahead and save again. Now, where is that teleporter stone? I don't know where it is. I guess we'll... It's a frightened slave here. Why are you so scared? Don't hit me, please. What are you doing here? I thought I'd take a break here in this hut. No one's using it now anyways, but I think I'd better get back to work. That's it? There's Merrick. I heard that you defeated Ashton in a fight. Amazing. You have reason to be proud. I mean, it's pretty easy. But, uh... Let's tell him about the mercenaries. About the mercenaries. Fedor thinks you are a weakling. He says he could defeat you in the arena, hands down. Ah, yes. I suspected as much. It's high time I once again showed the boys in the arena who's boss. Dan the Gladiator is very pleased with your work. I should think so. I gave him a slave after all. Oh well, here's your pay. It's my slave now. Goose the Gladiator appears to be loyal. Yes, Goose is a good man. That lazy bum still owes me the revenue from his farm. Tell him to give you the gold or I'll have his head, okay? Okay. Sanford isn't very fond of you. Did he say so? Yes. In no uncertain terms. Oh well. As long as he does his work, I don't care what he thinks of me. What about the hut next to your house? That old shack, you mean? You can have it if you like. No one's been living there for ages. Would you teach me how to fight? Alright, so now that we have a lot of learning points, I gotta figure out what to learn. I may just take a sword and shield for the rest of the game, but... As I said millions of times already, we do get a lot of learning points to learn most of this stuff. And we're almost level 14 already. So we'll keep the shield for now. Oh no, because I remember with two-handed swords, the way he carries it is weird. He holds one hand on the blade, like he's holding an axe. 
And I think that's the reason why I went back to using just a sword. I think I went double sword as well. Dual wielding, which is not usually my thing. I probably won't learn that. We don't have Orc Slayer anymore because we got rid of the uh, Orc Slayer sword. Uh, suppose we'll learn... We'll put 18 points into strength, get 150. Five. Ten. Eighteen. Eighteen. There we go. And now we have 150 strength. I don't know if we... Because I remember, I remember reading that with Master Swordsman. Like I said, it knocks enemies down. When they get back up, they get a free hit on you or something like that. So we'll probably avoid that. I gotta double check. But what else can I learn? We should probably put some points to life energy for the heck of it. Probably no hunt and skill. Because I'm not going to learn bows and such. Maybe crossbows. We have enough strength for crossbows. For two crossbows, actually. Like, I'm struggling to choose what for this character. You know? So let's go ahead and do a... This, I guess. We'll learn crossbow. Would you teach me how to fight? I don't know if crossbows are any good, but we're gonna see. Are you serious? Show me how to handle heavy crossbows. Hold the crossbow by the shaft. Press it against your shoulder for a steady aim. For the first few days, it will feel like your shoulder is ready to fall off. But after just a week, your shoulder will be like a rock. Aim at your target and pull. That's it. After a week? That's short. I think it would take months. Alright, now we learned... Crossbow. We'll just keep that for a while. I forget how many points that costs, but we're gonna go ahead and... Oh. These crossbows are worn. I didn't even... I didn't even check. Uh, let's go back to Thoric. I don't know if he has crossbows. I wasn't paying attention. Show me your goods. Any crossbow, sir? You do. You got only 500 gold. I'll take that. And you can have these in return. And I'll take... Got any bolts? He's got bolts. Nice. I'll take all those. And you can have these shields and some gold. There you go. Let's equip those. We'll put this in the hot bar right here. And... We got Blade Coral, which does extra damage. 20 points of blade damage. And just normal bolts. We'll put this here. And we'll equip. There you go. Now we have Sword and Shield and a crossbow. Put away your weapon. Pretty cool. I'm just checking. I'm not going to attack anybody. Alright, next order of business. Like, what else can we do? I guess we'll just hold on to the rest of the points for a little while. We do got a bit of gold now. Now what's in here? Now when you walk into houses in the original game and in this game, even with Community Patch, when you walk in, everyone just sort of looks at you. It's a little creepy. Have you come to mock me too? What's eating you? Seems like you haven't heard about my encounter. I come from the desert, and was traveling through the land with my caravan. Those cursed rebel dogs ambushed me outside the city, and took everything. Look at that guy's um, beard going up to his head. What did you have? Valuables, rarities, luxuries, artifacts, and jewelry. What misery. If at least I had my old gold casket. It is of inestimable personal value to me. His neck was all messed up there. Where exactly was the ambush? If you leave the west gate of Monterra towards Trellis, you will see my old stuff lying there. Assuming the rebels have not already plundered it all. We're gonna have to go get it for him. Tell me more about your artifacts. I know what the orcs are seeking. Why they are digging throughout the land, hoping to find it. The divine artifacts of the Ancient Ones, my pale friend. And I swear to you, I held one of them in my hands. 
but now it is gone and out of my reach forever. What do you know about the divine artifacts? You mean, other than the fact that the orcs are looking for them like mad? They are of inestimable value on the open market. That alone is enough. How did you get a divine artifact? Let me put it this way, my pale friend. While others perish in the sands of the desert in the sweat of their brow, I used my head. Or plainly, I was simply faster than the others. Who has the divine artifact now? Are you listening to me at all? The rebels ambushed me. If anyone knows, it is those cursed royalists. Alright, we got a quest. Got a Hashishan here. And you can join them, I believe. But either way, we'll talk to the innkeeper. You look thirsty, stranger. Is there anything here besides booze? Depends on what you need. Every piece of information costs five gold coins, although we could just trade. What'll it be? You know, just like the tavern keeper back in the harbor district of Carinus in the second game. Tell me something about this city. Monterra is a trading city, and how could it be otherwise occupied by the orcs? But the orcs mostly stay inside the castle. The orcs mercenaries rule the outer districts of Monterra. This is the merchant quarter of the city, but don't expect too much. Since the orcs started digging up the whole city, very few merchants have found their way to Monterra. How do you get along with the mercenaries? Well, so-so. Marek is the leader of the troop. If the boys cause any trouble, Marek gives them a rap on the knuckles. Who leads the orcs in this city? His name is Varek. So far, I haven't laid eyes on him myself. Up to now, he hasn't come out of the inner castle yard. All right. Is there any work to be had here? A fighter like you should join the mercenaries. That's probably best for you, and makes you a lot of gold. The real fat cats in the city, of course, are the orcs. But for that, you have to be tolerated inside the castle by the orcs. Tell me more about the excavations. Wherever there are ruins of the Ancient Ones left, the orcs dig up everything they can find. Who knows what they're looking for? I've heard that meanwhile there are excavations like this in almost every city. Alright, give me something to drink. Give me something to drink. No problem. Booze received. I didn't switch over to the camera, but we got something. Show me your goods. Do you have any iron ore? Probably not, because you're an innkeeper. Okay, um, how much torches do we have? We've got two. Let's buy these. It's only six gold. Pretty cheap. We'll also go ahead and maybe sell some stuff to him here. Got yeah, this tankard, I guess. We don't need a tankard. Uh, these bottles are used for something. I'll take all that, thank you. Yeah, they're really staring, aren't they? This guy's giving me the death stare. And the base camp, remember you walk into a, a building and they all just stop what they're doing, just look at you. It's a little anxiety inducing, if it were real life. Let's leave. And then go back to doing what they're doing. I'm sure that's fixed in another mod. I was hoping to be fixed with this mod, this uh, community patch, but I guess not. That's too bad. It's gonna be a little immersion breaking. Right, do you say anything, sir? Ford. How can I be of assistance? Fresh water, new tools, unused torches. As long as the gold is right, I can get you anything you want, stranger. Show me what you've got. Certainly. Just tell me what you need. The way he says that was a little weird. Show me your goods. Okay, well, do you have any iron ore? No, you don't. You got a pan. Take the torches. Got a lot of lockpicks. I'll take all those. We already got a crossbow. I'll buy some more coral crossbow bolts, why not? <clears throat> and this is the point where you can buy a two-hander, or forge one, because we got enough strength to use it if you get the large weapon skill, but we'll uh, leave that alone. We'll just use a sword and shield for now. I'm sure we'll run out of points to put into something eventually. And we'll go ahead and uh, experiment with two-handers. I don't know... Anything in here? Is there a teleporter stone anywhere? I'd like to get a teleporter stone, please. Is it in here? You know, I looked it up when I finished part three. 
And I completely forgot where it is. There's Bradley. Just just chilling. Relaxing, maxing all cool and all, eating some food inside his shack. It's not out here. It's not in here. If I had to guess, maybe it's in the warehouse where Sanford is. Sanford and Sons, anyone? Not in here either. But yeah, if you steal too much, um, the people in town won't really like that. And you'll... I think it locks you out, so I'm too afraid to take anything. I'm gonna try to look carefully. Doesn't look like it's in here. Already checked in there. How about in here? Anything in here? There's a guy in here. Sabota. You have a teleporter stone? You got a nice looking bed. Well, we can't sleep. Oh, yeah, we can't sleep in it. But it's not ours, so let's just talk to him real quick. Greetings, stranger. Why have you come to me? Who are you? My name is Sobata. I have the honorable task of providing for the continued presence of slaves in this city. Do you need help? Help is always necessary for someone like me in this city. As a rule, all the good fighters here are just lapdogs of that Marek. No one has the courage to work on his own initiative. What about you, stranger? What do you need? Despite my razor-sharp attention, two of my slaves have escaped. I would like to get them back. I assume that they would pose no problem for a strong fighter like you. You need a man with fighting strength to bring back a broken-down slave? Well, the case is somewhat more complex. Marek just grabbed a slave right out from under my nose and gave him to one of his people. I knew there was a catch. The fellow who owns my slave now is called Dan. He is a gladiator in the arena. I see. Ah, he's ours now. Now we have another task to do. That's what he's used for. Tell me more about your lost slaves. One of my slaves now works for the Orcsmith Thoric. Marek assigned him to the Fat Orc for cleaning services. He's my property, and I want him back. All right. Merrick isn't exactly your friend. No, not exactly. But as long as the mercenaries outnumber us in this city, you come to terms with it, or you die. All right, we got some quests to do. Thork slave and Dan slave. Let's go back to the arena real quick, right over here. And hopefully we can find that teleporter stone, because I don't want to run all the way back here if I have to go back to Cape Dunn and find those, uh, find those bandits. And here, I'm really looking, I don't see it. An Ashton's hut? There's no, he's got a nice, nice hut. No door, just like in the previous game, which is kind of, you know, a little immersion breaking, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me, really. You're working for Sabota again. If you say so. I'll take you out of here. Good. Huh. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to Sabota. Not too far, no need to skip ahead, I don't think. Set that house over there. These slaves are pretty malnourished and everything. Which makes sense. The orcs is... what I'm gonna join. I got your slave back, Mr. Sabota. There he is. The slave of the gladiator Dan is yours once again. You're good. I never doubted it for a moment. Here is your pay. 1,000 gold. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Now let's go to Thoric. And along the way, let's see if we can find that darn teleporter stone. There he is right there. Yeah, it's not in here. We already were in here. Is it in the smithy? It's 
blacksmith's hut? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, let's talk to, uh... Thoric. Remind. The Mora never interrupts an orc. Remember that. useful, Mora. Okay, I will. You're now working for Sabota again. Fine with me. I'll take you out of here. Good. Good, he says. Hey, stop right there, you bastard. What do you think you're doing? Just walking off with my slave? I just take what I want. Let's choose that. I just take what I want. Well, we'll see about that. Now you're going to bleed. Yeah. How about you? Defend yourself! <laughs> Slaves oh. attacking too. Oh, nothing else. At least the bastard has gold. He just goes John Claude Van Damme on him. The weapon belongs well, not John Claude Van Damme. He didn't do a roundhouse kick. He's taking his weapons too. Let's go ahead and loot. Uh, take his. He took the opportunity to beat up his slave owner. That's funny. Let's see if he wakes up. I'm assuming he's gonna wake up. In just a few moments. There we go. Bones. Um. How come I can't buy anything from you anymore? So let's reload. I don't want that to happen. But I didn't save right after. I didn't, right? All right, let's try this again. I was like, I'll take where's my mouse cursor? Sometimes when you click on a person, it's like on the far corner for some reason. Hey, what do you Probably because of all the movement I'm doing. I'll pay you for the slave. Pay? First you'll pay for the audacity of stealing from me. Give me 1,000 gold coins and we'll forget the whole thing. Oh man, I just... That's what I say. I don't think this is gonna work. I don't have the gold. We'll just pay him. Here's your one thousand gold. Good. Now give me another one hundred for the slave. Oh, this is highway robbery. All right. Here's another one hundred gold. Now you may go. Eventually, they will all. Because if I if we attack him, we can't buy stuff anymore. I want to buy stuff. But that's actually piddly amounts of gold. So let's just go back to Sabota. And get our gold back, hopefully. Sitting in his throne. And there's a slave. Here you go, got your slave back. Thoric's slave is working for you again. Very good, stranger. I knew I could rely on you. You will receive your reward immediately. Now we got uh, some of it back. That's okay. We got 14,000. What's another 1,000, right? Let's go ahead and save and find. Let's talk to these guys first, see what they say. They say nothing. I don't want any trouble. Well, I'm not trying to cause trouble. Hmm, where is it? Somewhere. Alright, I'm probably gonna have to check online or something. I don't know. Like, where is the darn teleporter stone? It's somewhere in the city. Can I go in the castle? Let's check our stats. We got 44 rep with Montero right now. It's probably in the castle, isn't it? Let's talk to these guys, these orcs, real quick. You didn't mean to just walk past me, did you? No. We do not know if I can trust you. We need 31 points. What is in the castle? This is the residence of Beric the Great. Rarely is a Mora tolerated in the inner circle of this castle. I see. Alright, we can't go in yet, of course. Reminds me of the upper quarter in Carinus. We have to do a bunch of stuff, though. Instead of becoming a citizen and doing some other things, like joining a faction to talk to, like, Lord Hagen and stuff like that, you just gotta get reputation points. Let's go ahead and save. New slot. Do a quick save as well, and I think we're ready to go to the overworld. If you leave the west gate of Montero towards Trellis, you will see my old stuff lying there. 
I'm assuming the rebels have not already plundered it all, so let's go do some adventuring. It's currently, well, it's evening time. That's okay. Let's put our new crossbow to use. I hope it helps out against, uh, you know, wolves and boars. Westgate towards Trellis. There's the farm. Uh, we'll talk to those guys later, I guess, because I want to do some combat. Since this part's going to be uh, a little a little short, I'm going to make these videos an hour. Let's see if that's better. Because I feel like two hours is just two, three times a week is a bit hard to digest. If I release two Let's Plays a week that are an hour, that's like watching a movie a week. Alright, um... Let's go to the Shrine of Beliar real quick. I'm going to go ahead and... Beliar. Put some points into Life Force. Grant me Life Force. We'll put, uh, oh, we got 20 points for every 5 learning points. Okay, uh, let's spend uh, 19. It's 5, 10, 15, 2, 3, and 4. Hold on. Grant me. It's, uh, boom. Now we have 300 life force. And nine points left. 300 life energy. That's good for now. I remember putting maybe 500. I'm guessing. Just from, you know, how this game works, really. Got some rebels here. Bit close to town, are you? Right, let's talk to this guy here. For the king. Hmm. No. You're awfully brave. What do you mean? You won't get far talking like that with the orcs occupying the area. <laughs> we rebels can be recognized a mile away, anyhow. You should treat us with a little more respect. Otherwise, you'll end up like the desert merchants. Man, I like the orc mercenaries and the orcs better than these rebels. So why would you want to join the king? Even though I did last time, because the king threw us in the barrier. So why would you join him? What desert merchants are you talking about? If you follow the road to the west, you can still see their old stuff lying around. We robbed them and drove them off. You robbed the desert merchants? Oh yes, and how. But before you get any silly ideas, we already took everything to Okara. Oh. Tell me more about Okara. You'll learn about that soon enough. Believe me. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for a message from our man in Montera. Your man? We planted a spy in among the mercenaries. He's supposed to let us know when the right moment has come to start the revolution. Will you tell me more about your spy with the mercenaries? Just because you haven't killed me yet doesn't mean I trust you. That would be too easy. It would be. It'd be funny if you told us, though. So, oh yeah, it's totally this guy. Please don't tell anybody. Okay, let's just leave him alone. So... We have to go to our car later, and we're not going to, because that's a bit far. So we're going to go ahead and go back to that farm. It's right over here. I don't think I have to skip ahead. If I skip ahead, I skip ahead. I skipped ahead anyways, because I was just quiet the whole way through. But either way, let's go talk to these farmers. Got some pigs, got a dairy cow, got a female slave. I'm starving. Well, you're eating, so that should be taken care of. Grab this. And where's Dominic? We got a mercenary here, some slaves. Slave, slave. Kelvin, Leon. Um, I guess we'll talk to these guys first. Working on the farm here isn't that bad at all. Especially when I think of the poor beggars down at the excavations. Okay, he doesn't say anything, just... You haven't come to send me back to town, have you? Forget it. I'm staying here on the farm. Okay. Stay here then. They're probably involved with the quest later on. Teleporter stone? No, just beds. If you're right about that. Teleporter stone? No, just beds. And a table. Alright, let's talk to Dennis. Dennis the Menace. So, how about it, arena champion? Oh, you know already? Is this your yard? I'm the boss here, if that's what you mean. I see to it that the stockyard works as it should. There isn't much that can happen. 
Bradley needs new slaves. All right, just take what you can find here. Tell Bradley he shouldn't work the slave so hard. I can barely use his people in my yard. All right. Dennis wants Bradley to go easy on the slaves. I'm looking for work. Great. I've got something for you. My people are obviously too stupid to deal with this. Lately, a pack of stray wolves has been roaming the area. They creep up to the yard at night and eat our livestock from right under our noses. I would pay you a good deal if you could make them go away. Okay. I will take care of the wolves. One more thing. Those beasts are damn clever. They must be hiding out somewhere when it's light outside. You will hardly catch them out in the open. I would imagine they have a cave somewhere near Montero. They're only wolves. I'll find them. Trust me. I should hope so. They're only wolves, he says, and we get killed by wolves plenty. Wolves are dangerous. Alright, we got ourselves a quest. Find wolves, just like we did in Cape Dunn. Just orc mercenaries here. Um, is that it? I don't see Dominic anywhere. I guess this is not the farm we're supposed to be at. Doesn't even say either in the dialogue. That lazy bum still owes me the revenue from his farm. Tell him to give you the gold or I have his head, okay? Uh, find the stray wolves. Milk for the warehouse keeper. Stockyard in the west. Wheat for the warehouse keeper. Grain farm to the north. He needs them fast. I guess we go north. It's getting to be... The light's beginning to disappear. Need to go to sleep soon. I'm hoping to get some combat in this part. Instead of just talking to people. Goblinberry, we'll take that. Ah, I see a rebel over here. They are dangerously close. Uh, let's talk to them before I forget. Rebel. Rebel. On his weapons, Mason. You wouldn't happen to be one of the mercenaries, would you? What? Probably not. Otherwise, you'd have killed me, wouldn't you? Who are you? I'm Mason. I'm a rebel. I've surrounded the stockyard with my people. We're just waiting for the sign to attack. You aren't quite right in the head, are you? Surrounded? What are you talking about? We rebels are everywhere. You should know. Even if you can't always see us. Anyway, we control the whole valley here. Well, well. What in the world are you planning? First, we'll sort out the livestock. <laughs> Just wait. It'll be fun. What livestock do you want to kill? Well, the fat cows in the stockyard. If the mercenaries don't have anything left to eat, they're bound to give up quickly. I see. What about the pigs? They aren't so important. They don't give milk. I see. I see. Who's going to give you the sign to attack? We've planted a spy in Montera. He'll inform us when it's time to strike. Who is your spy? Um, I, I don't really know if I can trust you, but... Maybe you can prove it to me. You help us with the business with the cows, and I'll tell you how to get in contact with our spy. Let's do that later. I'm going to choose something else after saving. You are completely nuts. You know that? If you think it's easy to kill the cows, you'd better think again. Those bastards keep a closer eye on their animals than on their purses. Well, we'll see. Okay, he didn't attack us. That's good. We're not going to do that yet. We may have to. To find out who the spy is, I'm assuming. But for now, let's go over here and grab this fire nettle. And we'll grab this healing plant right here. And this as well, because why not? Eventually, we'll do some um, alchemy in this game. I'm not sure if I missed a bunch of books or something. This place is all destroyed and everything. That sucks. Okay, this must be the farm. Dominic's farm, hopefully. There they are. Work mercenary, elite. Elbers, talk to him. What is it? Are you unhappy with your pay as well? Go back to work. 
Slow down. I'm not one of your people. Then what do you want here? I'm busy. If I don't watch out, the slaves will take off and the boys will just hang around and be idle. Slaves are escaping from your farm? Yes, damn it. Go ahead and rub it in. Not enough that this Marek is constantly after me. My own people are making fun of me now. Really? Tell me about Marek. He is an orc mercenary, just like me. Marek is our leader here in Montera. He sees to it that everybody works and doesn't just do what they damn well want to. I'd like to know how he does that. I can't even handle the handful of people here on the farm. I think you may need my help. Oh, damn. I have a feeling that I'm going to regret this. First, show me what you've got. Then, maybe I'll think about it. You should get your lads going somehow. Light a fire under them. Great suggestion. The only thing that could motivate them now is alcohol. We're either going to be stabbed by grain thieves or overrun by the undead from the castle to the east. Who's undead? Did you just say undead? If you follow the path to the east, it will take you to the old paladin stronghold. It's nothing but ruins these days, but still inhabited. If you get my drift, I wouldn't go too close to the castle if I were you. What about the rebels? The Royalists are lying low in the mountains, or hanging around outside of Montera. The Rebels aren't a serious threat. The Grain Thieves up north are more cause for worry. They will come at night and steal those sacks of wheat right from under our noses. I'm halfway expecting to wake up with a slashed throat while my own people are snoring in the hay, sleeping off a hangover. I will take care of the Grain Thieves. You want to do what my people haven't accomplished in weeks? Ha! Go ahead, I want to see that. He has very little faith in us. We're going to prove him wrong. But I don't know if this is Dominic's farm or not. Let's grab this. I could have told you that. And go find him. Rufus, let's talk to him. Psst. Hey you. You look different from the others here. You don't work for the orc mercenaries, do you? I'll work for anyone who pays enough. Hmm. Then you aren't the one I'm looking for. No offense. What? Who are you looking for? I must get out of here. But the mercenaries are, are watching my every step. I need someone strong who can distract them while I make a run for it. It's pretty brave of you, telling me something like that. Ah, what have I got to lose? Either you help me now, or I'm done for. You're one of the slaves, aren't you? Unfortunately. That wasn't always the case, but today there you isn't much choice. Maybe I can help you. I have to get to Okara, and as fast as possible. The rebels are waiting for me there. I have a very important message for them. What sort of message for the rebels? Forget it. I was careless enough telling you about it at all. We'll help him later, maybe. Let's go ahead and save. And I guess this is not the farm we're supposed to go to after all. In fact, where the heck are we supposed to be going? Stockyard in the west. Grain thieves. The Grain Thieves up north, they said. Well, let's go ahead and save, and I guess we'll go north. Probably not a smart idea to travel during the night, but we'll do that. Let's put our crossbow to use. I hope. It's a stone circle up there. Anything cool here? Well, it's not a stone circle, it's just a little hinge, I guess. Lots of greenery in here, of course. Oh, that's a... It's a snapper. Um, that took forever to reload. To load. Can be a crossbow wasn't a good idea. Alright. 
Ah. All right, how about you? There we go. That is too bad. Why would it have to be like that? Oh well. Maybe it's better the higher levels you get in crossbow, I guess. Let's go ahead and just get a cheap shot on this one. We just need a stronger crossbow, I guess. Oh, there's two of them. Darn it. Alright, have at you. There's another one. There's one behind me, too. Where these guys come from? Snappers are pretty easy. But yeah, maybe we can uh, get a better crossbow, which does like a whole bunch of damage at once or something. Got some chests here, a heavy chest. Let's go and save so I don't have to do that again. Now oh, we missed. Darn it. How'd I miss? Missed again, because it moved. There we go. There we go. All right, back here. Let's loot these chests. Another snapper over there. Yeesh. So many snappers around here. Mm, just some knickknacks. Or gold stuff. Take these. Because I don't want to leave with nothing. We got a Hashishin bow. That's cool. Maybe a little light force. Summoning Flame Sword, Healing Potion, Antidote, and a Scavenger Potion. I think we're already wearing the uh, Life Force. So we actually have 280 Life Energy, not uh, 300. We're kind of close to level 15. That's cool. Alright, let's take out this Snapper real quick. Probably should not put points to Crossbow, but whatever. It's, I'm not going to... We're just going to go all the way with it, I guess. These enemies moving backwards is a little annoying. There we go. Like spreading butter on a toast, like I said in the last two parts. Or the last part. That wasn't my comment. I read that off a review. I thought that was funny. That's like the best analogy for this game. This game's combat, the animations. And... Oh, there's a skeleton here. There's a lot of snappers, yeesh. Oh, there's a lot of... A lot of skeletons in that... Valley there, yeesh. Okay. Well, we got some work to do. Let's go ahead and clear out these snappers. Let's just use our sword. Ah. A cheap shot on us. That snapper there is fighting a scavenger. There's a whole battle going here. Let's join them. Got a little skirmish going on here between monsters or creatures. Ouch. There we go. No, they don't drop anything, except these scavengers drop some meat. We'll grab those. Scavenger egg. Guess we've taken care of everything. Strange mushroom. We'll grab that. 
some skeletons here. Crossbow, nice. Lockpick, I can barely see. A wooden shield. Gold, rusty sword. Magic root. Anything else here that I can grab? Open something cool with some lockpicks. Another piece of gold. I guess that's it. Um, okay, that shield is not worn, actually. It looks worn, but it's not worn. An old emblem shield which shows the royal heraldic animal. A shadow beast, that's cool. Well, our, our uh, skull shield's better, so we'll equip that. Uh, anything else that we grabbed? Got a free crossbow here. A Hashishin bow, which we can use if we want to. It's actually a little bit better than our hunting bow. There's probably just... No reason to uh, learn crossbow. It's going to be very slow to reload. I'm hoping it gets faster the higher your skill gets. But let's go ahead and grab this wooden shield. And grab this wooden shield. We can sell those. Just grab everything. I don't know what happened here. Did they fight scavengers and die? Probably. We gotta run all the way back to Montero once we're done out here. Are we even going the right way? We've got about three minutes left. Let's check that mushroom real quick. Right here. This mushroom is funny somehow. What happens if we eat it? Which is not a smart idea in real life if you have this mushroom in your inventory. Nothing. We wasted it. I bet it's used for a quest. It brings to mind the Nern root in Oblivion. Yeah, oh, we got some wolves. Hello there. Well, let's go ahead and just rush in like a like a maniac. <laughs> All right, that did not work out too well. I can handle wolves. Right, let's go ahead and just see if we can pick them off one by one. If not, I'll have to stop here and we'll come back for the next part. Okay, here they come. Ah, missed, of course. Let's get our sword out. Yeesh. Let's move back and heal. My goodness, these wolves. Another one. There we go. Oh my god. That went a lot better. Let's go up here. And when we come back, we got some wolves to slay. And we still gotta find the teleporter stone. I remember to go ahead and check online for it. We'll go ahead and save here as well. And uh, I guess uh, not that. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in part what? Five? Part five. Goodbye.